feeling a bit sassy tonight. <laughs> In a very heterosexual way. <laughs> or maybe not, I don't know. Once the sassiness is on me, I can't be responsible for my actions. <laughs> It's like the sassiness picks me up in a wave and throws me across the beach into the arms of whoever happens to be lying over there. <laughs> Do you know why I said I was sassy? Because in this studio, you can't tell from tonight's audience, but we have a professional warm-up comedian. And um, he, uh, he, he, his name's Chunky, and he's, uh, he, say, he said I was sassy. Uh, to tonight. Uh, do we, Chunky, say, uh, wave to the folks. Wave, that's Chunky over there. Hi, boss. Uh, How you doing? Yeah. That's, uh, he's very professional, Chunky. That's, um, that's his own outfit. He brings that to work. <laughs> Made it himself. Did you make that yourself? Well, actually, um, nah, it's just something I had in the closet. I just yeah, yeah. There's wanted to show it off. in the closet off. about that outfit, my friend. <laughs> I think when you put that on, you came roaring out of the closet. I like it, though. Hey, boss, huh? if anytime you want to borrow this outfit, please don't hesitate. The belt, the shoes, the whole thing, anytime. He called me boss. <laughs> I think that means he likes me. It was a strange concept that I would be anybody's boss. If I was somebody's boss, I would have to watch the dreaded sexual harassment video. <laughs> and I'm not watching that. Because sexual harassment is my stock and trade. <laughs> we'll be back with the show in a minute. All right, go on and enjoy yourself. The Lake Lake Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Robitussin. Robitussin knows how to help clear mucus and control your cough. in the studio. Knock it off, Ferguson. <laughs> it's a great day for America. Very big news for me. I'm terribly excited. The Jonas Brothers today signed to star in a new movie. I'm very, very pleased about that. <laughs> I just love them. <laughs> Do you know what the movie's going to be? Uh, it's the movie of the book Walter the Farting Dog. That's the movie. <laughs> I don't know who the Jonas Brothers are playing. I think the farting dog's being played by Larry King. It's... <laughs> Woof! Woof, that Alpo really gives me the gas. <laughs> does he ever do that? No. But he's got those shoulders. Where does he get them? Tomorrow night, Barack Obama is buying a half-hour commercial on CBS, NBC, and Fox. Not on ABC, though. I think, I think because they've got Dancing with the Stars. That's where, where viewers can watch an elderly person make a fool of themselves and then get voted out of the competition, which would be completely different from the election, of course. <laughs> and there is some sad news today. It's not all good news. The director of Deep Throat, one of the first porn movies ever made, <laughs> passed away. Yep. He was 80 years old. The doctors say he had a stroke. He died, but thank you for laughing, yeah. 
Anyway, there's going to be a small ceremony for his friends and family. Uh, you know, the pizza delivery guy, the pool boy, some cheerleaders. <laughs> hey, do you know who's having a bad day? Ted Stevens, the Alaska senator. Today is his first full day as a felon. Yesterday, he was convicted of seven counts of corruption. Do we have a picture of Ted Stevens? There he is. That, that... <laughs> that's Ted Stevens on the left. On the right, I think that's uh, Vermont, Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy. Let me look at that again. Yeah, there he is. That's Leahy. <laughs> Ted Stevens is 84 years old, which, you know, makes him what John McCain calls a whippersnapper. But you've got to give... <laughs> you've got to give the man credit, right? There's seven felony counts is a lot of corruption for an old man. You know, most men his age are out with the shuffleboard or putting gold bond on their giblets or something. <laughs> Ted Stevens is out there taking bribes. I got to get paid, B. Arch. Come on! You know, he's still running for the Senate as well, which I think is awesome. You know what it reminds me of? He's like that knight in the Monty Python movie. You know the one that gets his arm cut off and he's like, Just a scratch! Just a scratch! You're a seven-time felon! No, no, nothing to see here! What the hell is that? He's also been convicted... Uh, he's not also been. His convictions are less. Uh, they, they, uh, he, he allowed the oil company to pay for renovations on his house in Alaska. The oil company put in stuff you'd expect for a man his age, you know, the little stair lift thing and everything. <laughs> Walk-in closet for his pills. I don't know. <laughs> now, what they gave him was a high-end uh, barbecue. A high-end barbecue. <laughs> I know, none of your rubbish. And... <laughs> A massage chair. And they also put the entire house on stilts. I don't know why. I think he wanted to see Russia too from his house. <laughs> anyway, bravery has no place in America. That's what I say. Except maybe in Dancing with the Stars. That's right. Cloris Leachman is still on because she's a great dancer. <laughs> bothers me is the arrogance. Not of Cloris Leachman, she's fine. I mean, Ted Stevens, does he think he's not going to get caught? I mean, do you think the FBI are really going to believe that big oil companies give people free stuff out of the goodness of their heart? That's like Michael Jackson offering to babysit your kids. <laughs> That's what I did. It's like, hey, wait a minute. This... <laughs> I'll do it for free. Uh, the, the, uh... Knock it off! The guy died! Not Michael Jackson, he's fine. No, uh, the guy who, uh, the, the porn movie. He had a stroke. Anyway, look. Ted Stevens I'm talking about. He didn't go down without a fight. He put up a defense you'd expect from one of the most pugnacious senators. That's right, he took the witness stand, and like a man, he blamed it all on his wife. That's classy, isn't it? Nothing says, I'm innocent, like blaming your wife for all your problems. There's only one person who would ever be justified to do that, and that, of course, would be Sir Paul McCartney. <laughs> do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? There he is! Hey! I haven't seen that in a while. There's Sir Paul. Let's see it again. Ah, good old Paul. He was always a cute one. Anyway. Ted Stevens, he's a legendary figure up there in Alaska. He has been alive longer than Alaska has been a state. <laughs> the airport in Anchorage, Alaska is named Ted Stevens International Airport. I'll have to rename it to Prisoner 4983 Airport or something. <laughs> I'd love to have an airport named after me. It'd be very exciting to have pilots inside Craig Ferguson's terminal. <laughs> say though with all this stuff coming out of Alaska I'm getting more curious about this magical land of Alaska. <laughs> Do we have a map of Alaska? There it is, there, Alaska, uh, Mesopotamia, Sea of Bora. There's Ted Stevens' uh, big mansion of gold right there. <laughs> you know what Alaska's got a lot of? Bears. A lot of bears in Alaska. You know that in Alaska it is legal to hunt a bear, but it is illegal to wake up a bear for the purpose of taking its photograph. <laughs> they have the same law over in West Hollywood. You can't wake up the bears. Like, that's better be good. <laughs> I was sleeping! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I was just getting down for the winter. <laughs> I've never been to Alaska. I've thought about visiting, but Alaska is, full of, is, a, is a very cold place, full of drunks who want to be independent. If I wanted that, I'd go back to Scotland. I don't need to go to Alaska. <laughs> It's so full of gold and oil and rich stuff under the ground that people up there have formed a secessionist party. They advocate breaking off from the American, from not being one of the states. Uh, this is a practice which, by the way, is also known as treason. <laughs> well, it's a good thing Sarah Palin never palled around with any of those guys. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think we uncovered a picture of Sarah Palin with a secessionist whack job. Do we have a picture of... Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, there's a place up in Hollywood Boulevard you can get a secessionist whack job for 20 bucks. All right, we'll be, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. late-night television. You will hear nothing tonight that will be in the least bit controversial or upsetting to you. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm watching John McCain uh, in the campaign trail, and I'm thinking, this is a spectacular speaker. You, I don't care what you think. I'm watching this guy, and I'm thinking, this guy knows how to speak. He takes command of an audience. He, he gets in there, and he just... Kind of, rah, it's fantastic. But the way he speaks kind of reminds me of other things. Take a look at this. How about Sarah Palin last night, huh? Yeah. How about her, huh? Yeah. How about the job she did, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, huh? Yeah. If I find out who did that, there'll be trouble. <laughs> All right, I can't be mucking around doing this. Do we have time for an email, do we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, email. 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 No time for 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 email. No time well, we'll do one. <laughs> uh, this is from Curtis in East Lansing in Michigan. East Lansing. Dear Craig, says Curtis, who's your favorite Craig besides yourself? <laughs> Larry Craig. Remember Larry Craig with the uh, wide stance? He's my favorite other Craig. Uh, perhaps not as high as that, but he is. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. This is from Jocelyn in Anchorage, Alaska. Oh. What a coincidence. Jocelyn says, Dear Craig, I have the chicken pox and I am not a child. Mm. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Um, <clears throat> do you have any unique remedies? Well, I'm Scottish. We believe in hot whiskey. Hot whiskey <laughs> will pretty much cure anything. Uh, you get yourself a, what they call them, a hot toddy. You get a big glass of whiskey and you heat it up and you drink it. You'll still be sick, but you won't give up. <laughs> this is uh, Prest from Preston in Seattle in Washington. Uh, Preston says, Dear Craig, uh, I just got a job that requires me to wear a tie. Can you show me how to tie one? <laughs> yes, I can. I have to wear a tie at my job. Not only do I have to wear a tie, I have to watch the sexual harassment video. <laughs> told I have to watch the sexual harassment video. I'm going to watch it for tips. 
All right, tying a tie. It's not a difficult thing to do. Untying a tie can sometimes be done. I don't normally do this to the end of the show. And this is a secret in television. What happens here is, for your tie to work, they put a little bit of tape on the other side of it so that it doesn't offend anyone. <laughs> All right, get your tie like this, right? And then you go like this. Let me see if I don't tie this properly now. After all that. And then you go like that. And you turn that. And then you've heard, and you'll be able to slow this down on the YouTube. And then... There you go. Look at that. See? <laughs> I think we all learned something tonight, didn't we? All right, um, mm -hmm. oh, this is from Steve in uh, Bloomington, and uh, where's Bloomington, Indiana? Indiana. Right, uh, Steve says, hey, Craig, did anything happen in Vegas that stayed there? Oh, well, I was in Vegas um, last week, and some things happened. <laughs> you know, you can't. You can't do, uh, get up to anything anymore because everybody's got a blog and a camera and their phone. <laughs> Sucks to be even mildly famous. <laughs> Luckily, I'm on this show. <laughs> so I'm covered. All right, we've got to take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. show about stuff. Um, my first guest tonight is uh, the most famous brawn in America. Uh, he's author of the new book, It's Hard Out Here for a Shrimp. <laughs> but life, love, and living large when you're a crustacean. Please welcome the very lovely Peppy the King Prawn, everybody. Peppy the King. I'm uh, good, I'm good. How are you doing? You look sensational. Well, you know, I got a new suit. Yeah, you do, but you look kind of like good. You look like you've been working out and kind of beefed up a little bit. Well, you know, I did promotion of the book. You got to look good, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Did yeah. you write the book yourself? Did you have a ghostwriter or someone else to help you? Oh, I see. You mean because of Halloween? <laughs> yeah, sure, why like not? a ghostwriter? I, I get it, I get it. It's uh, funny. Yeah, oh, really? <clears throat> Uh, I don't know, but I have a friend, his name is Jim Lewis. Yeah. He's an incredible writer, and I call him, I tell him what I want to write, and then he... Um, and then he actually he writes, writes it. writes it down. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. That's, that's a good thing. And yeah. the book itself, is, is it an autobiography in some no. way? Oh, no, no, no. These are, you know, advice and uh, tips and uh, good pickup lines. Oh, really? <laughs> what are good, good pickup lines, though? Oh, uh, let me think. Uh, oh, here's one. Here's one. Okay. Um, is it me, or are you hot in here? <laughs> I like it. You want to hear one of mine? Here's one of mine. Okay. I've lost my telephone number. Could I have yours? <laughs> ah, hey, yeah. Okay, here's no. one. Here's one. All right, all right. Excuse me. Is your seat taken? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that works in an all-purpose environment as well. <laughs> That's true. I, um, I, I thought you were uh, in a committed relationship now, though. You're, uh, you're, uh, well, weren't you getting married the last time you were here? Well, you know, I, 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 uh, I, I believe in commitment. It's just I, you know, I don't stick to it. <laughs> Have you talked this over with your fiance? Uh, no. Right. No. Now That's... this is probably not a good idea, Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an avenue of questioning that may make you uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you made any plans for the wedding? Are you actually going to get married? Well, I don't know. She says, when, when are we going to get married? And, uh, you know, I keep putting it off a little bit. Yeah. But, um, I don't, I don't know, Craig. I, I think would, it's... Would you like to have kids? Well, I have kids. Oh. I have about 1,300 kids. 1,300 kids. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, All yeah, over yeah. the world. Yeah? Yeah. What, what, tell me a little bit about your, uh, about your fiancé. Uh, what, what do you look for in a woman? Um, you know, breasts. Yeah? <laughs> so, you, it's a, a human, then. You like a human? Oh, yes. Her name is Christina. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, uh, very uh, hot. <laughs> very hot. <laughs> Aren't there uh, technical problems uh, in... I told you before, Craig, yeah. it's all about the size, my friend. Yeah, I... The size of the king prawn. 
my greatest deal of respect, you'd have to be a... Well, never mind. Um, so you have, uh, you, you're, you're getting married to this lovely woman. What's going on? You're going to be in the new Muppets movie because... Uh, I, see? Yeah, oh, the, you are? Yeah, there's a new... I'm incredible in it, by the way. Oh, you've done it then? Oh, yeah, we finished shooting. Oh, And good. it's coming up for Christmas. It's called the uh, Muppets Letters to Santa. And uh, it's very funny. A lot of great guests. We got the Sopranos. I work with the Sopranos. Oh, really? All yeah. of them? Well, two of them. Okay, which yeah. ones? Uh, Tony Sarico. All right. You know Tony? Uh, no. No. Uh, and Steve Sharipa? Oh, yeah. No. No. Oh, no, I know Steve Sharipa. He's the, the big fella. Yeah. With, he... the, with the see-through black socks. I'll say. He's That's right. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty big, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But are you, uh, you going to be voting in the election, by the way? Well, I'll tell you, Craig, you know, I'm not allowed to vote. Why not? Well, Why not? I'm an animal. So it's a, it's a little difficult. I'm trying to get some legislation passed for animals to vote. Well, uh, well it, all animals? Of course. Well, think about it. You know, you got the... Uh, the monkeys. Wait, hang on. What? Somebody just applauded. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody I appreciate applauded it. applauded the animal vote. You're right. It's about time animals got a chance to vote. Of course. Because call yourself a democracy, America. Come on. There are animals out there not voting. It's outrageous. You're right. Well, think about it. Monkeys. I mean, talk about a swing vote. Do you know? Oh, yeah, there you are. And uh, I think there'd be some great candidates. Do you know? The Geico lizard, I think, would be wonderful. <laughs> and, um, do you know, Lassie would be La great. Lassie? Yeah. Lassie's still around then, is she? Yeah, well, you know, they, they recycle her every, <laughs> every few years. <laughs> what are you, uh, what are you going to be doing for Halloween? What, what's oh, your, what's your plan? Oh, um, well, you mean as a costume? Yeah, yeah, what are you going to wear? Well, I'm, I'm a little torn. Um, I was thinking maybe a cocktail wiener. <laughs> or, um, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker? Are you a big Star Wars fan? Do you enjoy no, the no, science not, fiction? not really. I just got a great deal on a suit. <laughs> <laughs> What about, uh, what about movies? What kind of movies have you been watching recently? You seen anything good? Uh, what have I seen? No, do you know, I, I like to watch a lot of television. Oh, yeah? But, what do you uh, watch on the TV, then? Oh, uh, I like The Simpsons. The Simpsons? Yeah, yes, that's very good, show. yeah. And, uh, oh, and I watch the Craig Ferguson show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever watch... There's a great show on the Discovery Channel called uh, Deadliest Catch. Have you ever seen that show? No. That's an awesome show. Is it? No, I saw previews, but yeah. it looks scary as hell. No, no, they get all these, they catch them, they go up to Alaska, they get all these crabs, and they catch them, and they cook them up, and it's, it's awesome. Yeah, well, some of my family are on that show. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I saw my uncle Manolo in a preview one time, <laughs> screaming his head off. Hell! Yeah. Hell! <laughs> you, have, you have an uncle Manolo? See, si, Manolo, Ernesto. Ernesto, and where are you originally from? Madrid, Spain. Oh, Madrid and Spain. All yeah. oh, right, and and they now live in Alaska. Well, no, they you know they go on vacation and then they get caught. Hey, <laughs> hey, me! Well, Why'd you like to go on vacation and get caught in a net? Yeah, it's it's happened to me a couple of times, but that was in oh, Amsterdam. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, congratulations by on uh, becoming the citizen and all this. Thank you very much indeed. Are you a, are you a citizen now? Yeah. You a citizen now? No. You're not. Did no. you come here illegally? Well, I've been here a long time, you know, but, uh... What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, I... Yeah, I think you may have some paperwork to do, my friend. I'm just, you know, I took some, some cough medicine before I came. I'm a little exhausted. <laughs> well, it's very nice to see you again, oh. and good luck with the book. It's hard out here. Thank you. Shrimp. Pay me the crank brawn, everybody. Thank we'll you. Right back. Thank you, my friend. I give advice and I smell like fish. <laughs> Pick up your own joke. All right. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> Dear Aquaman, how should I tell my husband that I want to leave him? Well, the best way to end a relationship is to be caring, open, and honest, or fake your own death. <laughs> Please give your advice to me, Aquaman. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest.
Yes, as an actress, she's on a show on NBC. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> Kristen Slater's in it, isn't he? He's good, I like him. Yeah, it's called My Own Worst Enemy. Uh, take a look at this. The hummingbird technique, eh? <laughs> I thought I was the only one who knew that. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Saffron Burrows, everybody. Saffron Burrows. There you go. Plug it in right there. You need any help with that? You good? <laughs> How are you, dear? No, I'm very well. I feel I was here just the other week. Well, you were, kind of, weren't you? When were you here? It was just the other week. It was just the other week. Then you're, in the, you're doing the new NBC show with the... With, you're playing this... Are you a sex therapist in the show? Well, I'm actually a therapist of the mind, body and soul. So I'm... yes would be the answer <laughs> there. I'm the resident mental health counsellor. Right, okay. For um, the sort of... Uh, the cover which is, you know, the Christian Slater's suburban side of himself. All right, because the show, he's, he plays two people in the show, right? Yes. He's like, he's himself and then he's like D Dr. Evil or something. Uh, uh, yeah, there's uh, Henry, which is the suburban man with, a, you know, works for an insurance company with a wife and kids. Right. And then there's his assassin side, Edward. Ah, right, Henry and Edward. Henry Jekyll, Edward Hyde. Ah, I get it. And there's a yes. very subtle difference. Like, right. one of them's left-handed and one's right-handed. Oh, nice. Does he drink a potion? <laughs> <laughs> he sort of, well, you get a little bit of blurry camera. Right. And he gets a bit of a headache. So he, there's, a good, there's a good one and an evil one. It's kind of like the Olsen twins, right? You get the good one and the evil one. <laughs> And you, do, and you talk through his uh, personality problems then? I talk him through and I sort of try to assuage his troubles. He comes and tells me dreams he's had and I generally try and make him feel calm you, about do you, life. Do you ever uh, go and see a therapist yourself? No, well, I, I think what we're missing now... <laughs> do you ever have sexy dreams? <laughs> about your therapist? <laughs> I do. You do? Yeah. You do? About your therapist. No. You are the therapist in the dream. Never mind. Uh, look, what happens when you go to your... So you're seeing a sex therapist right now then, you say. And... Christian Slater's visiting Saffron Burrow's character. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Forget all that. We plugged the show. I want to know about you. I want to know... Well, um... I was at a party recently, ah. and I have to say, I don't go for psychics and things because I'd like to let my life unfold. Right. I don't particularly want someone telling me what's going to happen. But I was at a party right. with a psychic, and um, uh, there were 25 people all sitting around, and then the idea was they tell you who might be your, you know, your, your guardian, one of, your, one of the people keeping an eye on you. Oh, like a dead relative? And sort of, yeah. a sort of, yeah. And mine apparently was the kind of god of fun. And he was called Pepe. No! <laughs> How bizarre! He was called Pepe. Pepe and the he god was of like the, the god of late night clubbing and general fun. And he was called Pepe. And then, uh, did you meet Pepe on the way out? He's not a puppet, you know, he's real. We had a little chat. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, right. I bet he would talk to you. Yeah, he likes the woman. <laughs> That's what he says. He says that. Yeah, do you, do you enjoy uh, shellfish, crustaceans, prawns, those kind of things? <laughs> Do you, Craig? Yes, I do, actually. Do. I, I enjoy a uh, scampi. You do? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I like a bit of scampi, and I enjoy some sushi, if you don't mind me saying so. Really? Yeah. Do you like oysters? Uh, yes, I do. Interesting. Yeah. You can actually, I don't, really, I don't really like oysters, but I always tell women I like oysters. <laughs> what happens when they order some for you? I say I, I fake my own death, actually, is what I do. <laughs> I, I go to the bathroom and don't come back. No, I don't mind oysters. It's just that sometimes when you... It's, it's like a bit like snot going down, isn't it? <laughs> well, I don't know. I suppose it's a love-hate thing, isn't it? Like Marmite. Marmite, People yes. go either way. Yeah, do, do, do you know what we're talking about here, Marmite? Marmite, Marmite. is, a, is a, it's like a beefy spread. Yeah. Remind you of anyone? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm such a vulgar old oaf tonight for some reason. I don't know why. I, um, I, I, <laughs> I have just started to embrace um, 
steak and bacon sandwiches and things like this. You were a vegetarian, time yes. Since I was a kid. And you've been a vegetarian for yes, yeah. years. Yes. What got you back on the beef then? Well, if you I pardon the expression. Was... <laughs> <laughs> I, have an, I have an actor's answer, which you, is that I was playing a role where the woman starts to eat spare ribs on camera. Right. And I didn't want to do a, you know, a bit of soy something. Right. And fake it. But you've inspired me in another way. Why? I've now just applied for citizenship. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. congratulations. Well Thank done. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That, well, your first, the first step in your journey to being a true American is starting to eat meat again. So right there, <laughs> you're beginning to become an American now. The two seem to go side by side. In and out burger. Americanism. No, well, actually, no, the, the truth, uh, I, I don't know if we advertised that particular I'm so burger sorry. chain. Do we? Oh, what the hell. I do uh, enjoy the, the drive through. Drive through burgers. The drive through, through burgers. Anything is good. It's excellent. Anything that you don't I have like to get it. out of the car. You can get married without getting out of your car. You can have a whole evening out with the little radio playing a bit of something on satellite. Right. A bit of coffee house soul or something. And drive through, have a burger, see a film. See a film it's in your a car? Whole yeah, yeah. Do you do you enjoy the coffee house soul? <laughs> <laughs> I pluck that from the air. Mm. But there's some sort of radio station like that. I like the, uh, the hits of the eighties. I find myself listening to over and over again. You do? I do because I was so drunk during the eighties. I go, I never heard that. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, over and over and over again. I started to enjoy Dire Straits and stuff. Dire that I Straits. Didn't really listen to. Do you know before. what I always thought about Dire Straits? Remember when I watched Dire Straits that their singer Mark Knopfler was going bald, and so what he had was his little headband would get wider every time. In every video, he was get wider and wider and wider, until the end it was just hair there, and then the big giant thing, big, money for nothing, checks for free. The big bandana. Yeah, giant, yeah. You, that's how you can tell a man's going bald. Big bandana. The big So, uh, have you, yeah. if, if, so uh, when will you become a citizen then? Well, this is the thing. I was inspired because I want to vote, of course. Mm -hmm. But it looks like I'm going to have to wait till the next time around. I'm waiting for my meeting, so I, I, you, I could welcome some tips. On well, well, let's see. What you, mm -hmm. you have to, you, they'll quiz you at the meeting. Have you filled in the test yet? Yes. Right. I've, no, well, all, no, all I've done is I've said I will bear arms for America. Oh, yeah, I know. I have to say that too. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Would you really? Or did you have your I'd fingers run crossed? Away. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, you I'm have to actually to do it. You have to, you have to uh, bear arms, and I think there's something else you have to be. Not in Al Qaeda or something. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's quite a lot of questions. They're quite difficult, some of the questions. And they made it harder now. I got the easy test, and you then did? they changed. Yeah, the, my test was do you love America? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, do you enjoy cola? Oh, you bet I do. That's it. Yeah. Yours is kind of like, you know, Supreme Court justices, how the system works, the House of Representatives, the Senate. Do you know all this? Did you not have to do that? Yes, I did, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got a very large book, 1492 to the present, People's History of the United States. Well, you didn't have to bother with anything up until about 1980. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't, right. don't bother with all that I'll people sailing around. Or yeah, yeah. Start, start with Guns and Roses, Roses and then. Reagan. Uh, yeah? Reagan. Reagan. And yeah. Then, yeah, you'll be fine. It'll be all. Nixon, it'll... don't need to know. Just start with Reagan. Well, no, don't ask, don't tell about no, Nixon. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's your topical late don't night humor right there. Take that, Nixon. Uh, <laughs> Hey, we've got to go. It's lovely to see you again. Come back and see us in another couple of weeks. I'll, I'll tell you how it's gone. Yeah, Testing all right then. Yeah, no, do it when yeah. you're an American. Don't come back until you're an American. All right. All right. Then. Oh, the lovely run Burrows, everybody. <laughs>
get worried about that cat. <laughs> Well, what did we learn on the show tonight? We learned that I actually can tie a tie, which I think, uh, please. Yeah, it's the only marketable skill I have. Here's the thing, though. I can't tie a tie on someone else unless I'm standing behind them. <laughs> you can do your own joke there if you want. Uh, now, uh, what else did we learn tonight? We learned that I was, uh, we have a professional warm-up comedian in the, uh, in the studio here. His name is Chunky. He's, uh, there we he, uh, he called me boss. Which means I have to watch the sexual harassment video. Which I'm rather looking forward to, actually, to be honest. I haven't, uh... I haven't ever seen it. You know what, the real one? I mean, I've seen the porn version. <laughs> of the sexual harassment video. Actually, you know what? I like that idea of the porn version of that. I'm going to make that. And then I'm going to show it to everyone who's beneath me in rank. <laughs> Would that constitute sexual harassment? I don't know. By the way, I have to tell you, just be careful because joking about sexual harassment is in itself sexual harassment. <laughs> so you better not do that then. <laughs> what else did we learn? Uh, we learned that uh, you mustn't wake up a bear <laughs> in West Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we also learned that, uh, <laughs> that Michael Jackson will babysit your kids for free. <laughs> all right, that's all we have. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.